This is an introduction and demonstration of the location plugin. This is a plugin that I am uh, dropping on the Joomla community for free because uh, I don't understand why nobody's done it yet. Or, well, I don't know, I, I think I saw one, but it was really more expensive than free, so yeah. Um, the location plugin. So the name, the name, I guess, isn't all that great. Um, what it is, it's just a Google map. Uh, it allows you to uh, inject a Google map into whatever whatever extension accepts field inputs. Um, if you can create a field uh, for your extension, then you can use the, the location uh, field plugin. Uh, it starts off with you uh, going to Google and uh, getting your Maps API key and uh, optionally your Static Maps API key. The Static Maps key is going to give you the ability to display your static map in the front end as somebody's viewing a, uh, a user profile uh, versus the heavier uh, map JavaScript and uh, longer loading times of an actual movable map. You know, so if, if you don't need to give someone the ability to navigate around the, the location map, then you have the option within the plugin here to choose to use uh, static map for display purposes. Uh, so anyway, you go and you get your keys, and uh, once you have, you know, once you've installed the plugin and you, you've added your keys, then of course it's time to uh, go into whatever whatever extension you're adding fields to, and uh, create a field. Now I've already created one here for uh, a, a user field for location, and. Uh, uh, I've, tr I've tried to give you know, most of the general options that you would need in order to use the uh, the uh, plugin as a field within a user profile. Um, the top half here is, um, of course, the standard information about the the plugin setup. These are standard fields you'll see with any plugin: um, name, label, description, required, default value. The default value uh, is latitude and longitude in decimal format, uh, comma separated, no spaces. So if you want the map to default to a specific location uh, upon the first visit, then you can you can enter that here. Otherwise, uh, I don't know what stuff stuff. I think it drops you at zero zero anyway. Uh, so uh, map type. You have all the standard options that Google offers. Um, display type. This is the front end profile view display. So you have the option of static map API, JavaScript map API, uh, map API, or a plain latitude and longitude label, of course. Uh, display width. This is uh, for the front end. Anything that's labeled uh, display uh, is for the front end when a user uh, visits a profile, it's going to try to display using these uh, defaults. If you're using a static map API, you're going to want to put a, no a numeric display width in here because the default, if you, if you try to send auto to static maps, the plugin defaults to 400 pixels. So if you get a weird output and you can't figure out why, it's, uh, it's not auto filling is because it can't. The, the static maps API will error out. It will not give you a map if you send them auto as a width. Uh, display zoom. This is for both the, uh, the edit and the, the uh, display. And uh, of course the edit width and the edit height. This is for when a user is editing a profile or when a user is editing whatever, whatever item you have attached the field to. So let's uh, let's explore what one of those looks like. Jump through user. Ah, you may you may have noticed here. I'm I'm uh, I'm in Joomla four. This is uh, the 4.0 dev version. I'm building these fields uh, while 
uh, Joomla 4 is still in alpha because I want to make sure that uh, when 4 launches that they're available and operational because I'm, I'm holding back a project waiting until 4 arrives because 4 is so close. Um, so these, these will work in, uh, what is it, fields were introduced in what, 3.6? Anyway, this will work from 3.6 and up. Uh, so, say so you've got a uh, a uh, form field in here that is your map location. You can, pardon me, you can of course zoom in and go anywhere you like. Let's go to Florida. love it. Some towns just have great names. So let's save that. Now of course when you return the plugin returns you back to the uh, position you had stored. Your latitude and longitude are displayed here for uh, oh, you know what I should probably put a better description. Oh no that's, that's my field description. So uh, the uh, map coordinates are, are displayed up here. You have the ability to zoom and move around and you can basically set your, your position anywhere you like. As soon as you click, it moves the pointer and, uh, and you're good. So let's get that back on Tallahassee or some close approximation to it. Mm -hmm. I think that's close enough. And save and close that. Let's pop in the front end here. And refresh that screen and there we are we're in Tallahassee that seems to be the spot now of course on the front end view uh, when you're not in edit mode you can't click anywhere you can't do anything other than scroll the map around um, let's switch that field setting to display the static maps and we've got that. I'm going to go ahead and show you the uh, what happens. If you choose auto, it goes to 400 pixels wide. So that's what you get. Of course, you can't move it. You could uh, you could save it from here, I guess. And let's switch it one more time to the text latitude and longitude. There you go. I suppose I could add an extra option in there to make it the pretty, you know, degrees minutes and seconds. But, uh, ah, that's going to be for those. Uh, this, I hope this, uh, hope this takes care of whatever your needs are for uh, locations. I, I thought, man, this this could be useful if you're writing an article about a about a place. You could you could have a field type in there for location, and actually have a pinpoint right on the right on the place that you're talking about. Or uh, it could be good for user profiles, current location, birth location, um, your your work your work location, whatever. I mean, you could do all kinds of crazy stuff with this. I think. Um, I can't, I can't imagine what all you're going to do with it, I just, I just know what cool things I have in store, uh, and anybody who's been paying attention, you may have noticed this thing, uh, this is a very, very near release, as soon as the Joomla core updates to a, 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 a pull request that I put in, as soon as they update that pull request, I'm dropping this, this field on the world, this is a subform field. So, I have, uh, have a need for some of my clients for the ability to have multiple phone numbers for an individual user. So, uh, the user, user fields are going to be populated with phone numbers and email addresses and all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, just as soon as a pull request goes through. But, uh, yeah, for your Joomla 3 and uh, future Joomla 4 use, the location field type.
free. Come to my website, download it. No registration required, just click the button.